Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Oh, excuse me. It's Thursday. I'm losing count of the days. How are you guys doing? So we're back. I have the whole gang here. They, they want to say hello. I, I hear you. I hear you. So I have Hungry Caterpillar is back. Joey Kitty. And of course, our birthday girl, birthday Linda. They're all super excited to be back here with you. And as promised, we are... Hold on one second. I'm about to tell him. Yes, I'm about to tell him right now. He's very excited. We're making a hungry caterpillar craft. Isn't this cool? So cool, right? So hungry caterpillar and Joey came up with a surprise for Linda here. Oh, I, I know you're excited. It's so generous. Yes, Joey, it was very, very thoughtful of you. So what we're going to do and we actually started a little bit of it because these guys got excited, so I started the template. We are actually going to make the same Hungry Caterpillar, but we're gonna make it as a happy birthday banner. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna show you how to do it, all right? Give me one second, let me put these guys down. I know you guys wanna help, I know, I know. It's okay, we're all gonna help. So they already started this one for me, so while we're taping, I can put them down and be, have a free hand. They love craft time and they love seeing you guys. It's very, very important to them, okay? <laughs> there you go, so you guys can all watch. You can see they're right here with me. They're all, oops, they're all watching. <laughs> there you are. Okay, let's get started. So to make this part, what I did is I took my green paper or I should say these guys took the green paper without me. Now this is a little trick. Um, I have, because I went to school for art, you know, like art classes, and when I was little, I loved art classes. So when I got older, my mom and dad encouraged me to take art in um, big girl school. So I took a lot of art lessons, and as a result, I have all these different tools, but for the sake of time, and because I'm in my, we're in our area here, we're in the special world of these characters, I came up with another idea for a circle. So ask your mom and dad for permission. So I took a can. I have a can of tomato sauce here, whatever circle size you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a circle, okay? So for this, I can trace about three circles. Right, this aside. So you can see I trace three circles. Now, this is a trick that you can do, it's very helpful. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the paper and I'm going to fold it. Okay, see how I folded it? And I'm gonna fold it a second, excuse me, a second fold. So I have it folded up like that. Now, by doing this, what you're able to do is you're able to cut out multiple circles at once. So it actually saves you a little bit of time. So if you're in a rush or mom and dad have to make dinner in the kitchen or wherever you do crafts, it's helpful because that way you can all do it and all participate. Okay. All right. So now I have three circles from that one. And I'm gonna cut the other two now as well. So how many does that make? If we cut three circles three different times, can anyone tell me how much that is? Oh, Linda knows. That's right. Three times three is nine. Very good, very good. Yes, three times three is nine, perfect. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you guys like math? Linda likes math a lot. She enjoys math class very, very much. All right, and just one more. And I am going to save the scraps because it's always good 
to save. Now for this, I'm gonna call on my helpers because I wanna make sure I have enough circles to spell out happy birthday. And I want one blank circle in between so we have a little space between the letters. So let's see. So how many letters is happy? Let's see, H-A-P-P-Y, right? So that's one, two, three, four. Oops, I can't, we miscounted. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, thank you. Thank you for helping. So let's see, let's make sure we have enough. We have one, two, three, four, five, and a space, that's perfect. Okay, now we have to do birthday. Oh. Joey wants to help. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, Joey, how do we do this? B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y. So that's how many? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight more. Okay, so we need eight for birthday, six for happy. Oh, excuse me, no, no, excuse me. Oh, gosh. Five for happy, one for a space, which makes six, right? Five plus one is six. Then we need to add eight for birthday. So we need a total of 14, 14 circles, right? Did, did I do that right? I think so. Okay. Just double check it. H A P P Y space B I R T H. Why? Okay, so let's recount to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen. We need a total of fourteen, which we have, which is great. All right, let's get going. Sometimes on the spot, like it's hard. Mental math is hard, right? So it's very important to study your math. Our next step is we're going to take our glue. And we're just gonna glue, oops. Glue a little bit, oops. A little too much there, but that's okay. We're just gonna glue. And see what I'm doing? I'm just putting a little bit there. Putting a little bit there, because I poured out a little bit too much. So, all right, that's better. Let's. All right, and I think I just need one more. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start writing out happy birthday. Get that started. Okay, so let's see. I have, so I, Linda, what color do you want? Oh, she's telling me, hold on one second. Purple? Oh good, that's what I picked out, wonderful. Put you right there. Since she's the birthday girl, I'm letting her choose, right? When it's your birthday, you get to choose, right? It's very special. P, Y, K, and then birthday. B, I, R, T, H, D, a Y. Perfect. Oh gosh. There we go. So it's a little wet, so I'm gonna have a hard time. It may not hold. But there we have happy birthday. <laughs> now we have to do the head of the caterpillar, right? Yes. We need to do your head. Okay. So I already have a red cut out because when I made this previous one, I happened to cut out two at once. So they, you guys let me do the head. They were very generous. So we already have the red cut out, all right? Then what I did is I prepped it for the, um, the antennas as well. I just cut a little piece of red scrap and made a circle for an antenna. And this can be freehand or you can use a template. It's totally fine. Now, when we were creating this template to show you guys before we created the happy birthday banner, 
these guys came up with a really cool trick and it's awesome because your mom and dad are going to love it because it's going to save cleanup time. So you have the side that you want to appear on the Caterpillar banner. On the back side, because no one's going to see this, we can actually let this get dirty. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the antenna and I want to color it in purple like, like you, right? Because you have a multicolored antenna. Okay, put it right there. Oops, you fell. <laughs> there you go. They're ready for their afternoon nap, I think. So we're gonna color over it. All right, that's one. Now let's do the other. And I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. And the reason for this is because sometimes crayon can make a little bit of a mess and you know, mommy and daddy have a lot to do. We don't want to create a lot of cleanup for them. So that's why I'm suggesting a swipe. Oopsie daisy. So there you go. You have two colored antennas. Now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue or in my case, gel on the head. You can see that and just place All right, so I just placed the antennas on there. Now, I need to create the eyes. All right, I have a little bit of yellow scrap left from another project, and I love using scraps because that way you don't waste. I'm gonna do the same trick I did before where I'm going to fold a little bit of paper, and I'm just going to draw a little bit of a shape. And I will tell you a secret why I like doing it this way. Because I get really nervous when I have to duplicate something exactly. And I always feel like it's off. I never feel like it's quite right. And I decided, you know what? I have to find a trick to work around this. And that's how I came up with this idea. Now we're going to do the same thing. Put a little bit of gel on the back. and glue them on. Now, next step, okay. You can see, oopsie daisy. Does this start? Now, the green eyes, right? The all important green eyes. So same thing, I'm gonna do, do my little same thing I did before. All right. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Don't feel pressured to be perfect. Anything you do is going to be really amazing. Okay. Part of the fun of creating is letting your imagination take over and doing things that you may normally not have the space to do them in. And we love that. We love being able to play with colors um, and try different options. Cause you know, it's when you try new things that you discover like some really beautiful opportunities and some really beautiful art that you may not have thought of before. Last step, we need to do the nose. I'm gonna take a little bit of green scrap again. And let's, I just cut a little, little dot for the nose oops and same thing we're just going to do a little dab all right so there's our hungry caterpillar <laughs> and then I'm going to glue a little bit at the end and voila we have a hungry caterpillar happy birthday sign how cool is that now, like I said, you can do this either way. You can do it plain like this and put it in your playroom or your mom and dad's kitchen fridge maybe. I'm sure you guys display a lot of great artwork there, right? 
Or if you have a birthday and Mungry Caterpillar is your favorite character and it's your birthday party, this is a cool alternative that maybe you can make with mommy and daddy in advance or your brother and sister. And like I said, I will put pictures on our on our page, Instagram page, and I will put this on Instagram, um, excuse me, Instagram, on Pinterest as well. But that's our craft of the week. We are so happy to have you here with us. And the gang wants to say, I, I know I'm pulling you guys in. Hold on, hold on. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Oh, the kisses. They love kisses. They love giving kisses. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh. So we're all really super excited. You came back this week and got to see our video and got to see us help us make this craft. We had a great time with you. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back. Um, we're still trying to figure out our schedule for next week, but we definitely will be in touch and we have more stuff coming to you. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.